Good afternoon. We start with President Yoon Suk Yeol's cabinet meeting earlier this morning. The president discussed the highlights of his recent trip to New York, from rallying support for Busan's World Expo bid to laying out South Korea's vision as a leading nation in tackling global disparities in climate change and setting international digital norms. Our Kim Do Yeon reports. Looking back on his trip to New York last week, with 48 diplomatic events in five days, President Yoon Suk-yeol says the world now has higher expectations for South Korea's contributions globally. The comment came at a cabinet meeting on Tuesday where he said the reputation meant more leaders tuned in to his speech at the UN General Assembly and boosted the status of Busan's World Expo bid. He also appealed the strength of Busan's bid to each of the nearly 50 leaders he met during the week. 그들은 우리 정부의 자유와 연대라는 국정 기조가 외교 무대에서도 일관되게 적용되고 있어 대한민국 정부의 국제적 역할에 대한 신뢰와 기대가 점점 커지고 있다고 했습니다. The president touched upon his speech at the UN General Assembly, re-emphasizing South Korea's vision to take the lead in closing global disparities in three areas: development, climate change, and digital order. To do this, he reiterated that the South Korean government's official development assistance budget will be more than double next year compared to five years ago. We are working with developed countries to improve the environment and the economy quickly and effectively. At the UN, he committed an extra 300 million U.S. dollars to the Green Climate Fund and kick-started the Carbon Free Alliance, urging ministries to rally countries to join. He emphasized that the alliance's success would boost South Korea's edge in nuclear and hydrogen sectors, opening up a lucrative new export market and strengthening competitiveness in the nuclear and hydrogen sectors. In the meantime, President Yoon mentioned South Korea's leadership in formulating the Digital Bill of Rights during the cabinet meeting. 늘 새로운 기술이 출현할 때마다 새로운 규범과 표준에 대한 논의가 이루어졌으며 이 논의를 주도한 나라가 예외 없이 해당 기술과 산업 발전을 주도해 왔습니다. 이제 새로운 AI 디지털 규범의 정립과 this comes as he attended New York University's Digital Vision Forum for the second year in a row to emphasize the importance of new rules for digital innovation. He also took the opportunity to repeat his stern message toward what was going on between Russia and North Korea. Without mentioning a country specifically, he said violating UN sanctions is not acceptable. He said as a non-permanent member of the U.N. Security Council starting 2024, South Korea will lead the world's peace based on rule of law. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.